Hi, I'm Dave Salvage and welcome to Hayloft Salvage. I don't know if you've ever read this book before, 10 Fighter Boys. It's an absolutely amazing book that details the lives of the few. The few were the Battle of Britain pilots during World War II who saved the country from the Nazi hordes. It's a great little book. What I've got today is definitely World War II related and definitely to do with the Battle of Britain. Well, I won't keep you in suspense anymore. Let's have a look. This isn't just any old chest. This is an RAF chest. But this isn't any old RAF chest. No, sir. This chest belonged to an RAF fighter pilot called Peter Guy Otwell. So, what's remarkable about Peter Otwell here, you ask? Funny you should mention that. On the 7th of June 1940, Sergeant Otwell flew two very dangerous cross-channel sorties covering the evacuation of the British Expeditionary Force from France. On Peter's first sortie across the channel, he shot down a one Luftwaffe aircraft. On his second sortie, he just shot down another German aircraft when a third German fighter got the better of him. He bailed out of his burning hurricane, suffered severe burns. He was then recovered by a French farmer who hid him for a period of days until managing to get him back on one of the last boats out of France. Several days after being posted as missing, Peter walked back into the crew room at RAF Tangmere, much to the surprise of all his pals. Peter went on to receive pioneering treatment for his horrendous burns that he endured whilst bailing out of his flaming hurricane. In 1941, Peter Guy Otwell returned to service. So now we hope you'll understand the gravitas and the importance we've attributed to this trunk wood chest. This chest belonged to an RAF fighter pilot from the Battle of Britain, one of the few. He was shot down during the evacuation of British forces from France after shooting down two Luftwaffe fighter aircraft. We offered this trunk to two auction houses, two well-known auction houses. They looked at the photographs, neither of them were interested in it. I've seen them sell lesser bits of memorabilia than this. This is an important historical item that I feel a collector of RAF memorabilia would love to have in his collection. You could keep all your uniforms, badges, belt buckles, whatever you like in it. It's a great bit of RAF memorabilia. So Henry and Charles, you missed out there, but you can still have a go at it if you want. We did a bit of research to determine the provenance of this trunk. On the back of it, as you can see here, is a stores label from the US military stores, showing when the trunk was actually sent back to the United Kingdom. Peter Guy Otwell served in America during the mid fifties. At that time, as you can see on the front of the trunk, he was a wing commander. Retired Battle of Britain fighter pilot, Peter Guy Otwell, sadly died on the 31st of January, 2003, at the age of 88. There is one thing of just minor importance, but uh, we're not one to name drop here at Hayloft Salvage, no, no, no. But this trunk was actually shortlisted on the BBC TV series, uh, The Bidding Room. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't make the final cut, and uh, to be fair, I'm not too gutted about that. I didn't really fancy travelling all the way to Glasgow for filming with a massive big heavy trunk, but uh, anyway, it was nice to have been asked. So, if you're a dealer, collector, or a museum, hmm, that would be nice, and you fancy having a go at this trunk, contact Hayloft Salvage through Instagram, Facebook, or via our beautiful website at hayloftsalvage.co.uk. I'm Dave Salvage. This trunk belonged to Peter Guy Otwell, Battle of Britain fighter pilot. And this is Hayloft Salvage. See you next time. Cheers to the coach, dude. Very nice. Thank you.